Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be updating your iPhone, iPad, or touch to the latest iOS. So it doesn't really matter which iDevice you guys have, it's the exact same instructions. So let's just go into your settings. In your settings you're going to see the very first option where it says your name or maybe your device's name. Go into there and manually make a backup using iCloud. If you guys have no more space on your iCloud, maybe your 5 gigs are over, don't worry about it. Use iTunes on your computer in order to back up your iPhone, iPad, or Touch. Or if you guys have Mac, just use Finder in order to make that backup. Once you have done so, just scroll down until you guys see General. Under General, your second option will be Software Update. Under Software Update, this should load up, and here we go. So some of you may only see Install and not Download. That's okay. That just means it already has downloaded. That happens sometimes. However, right now, for most of you, you're going to see download and install. So let's just tap on download and install. It's going to ask you for a passcode if you have one. And then it's going to begin the download process. During downloading, it doesn't really matter if your iPhone, iPad or Touch turns off. However, during the installation itself, it's a big deal. Because if something goes wrong, turns off for any reason, then you will have to restore it. Restoring means deleting everything from your device. And that's why we made this backup just in case something goes wrong. You also need to keep in mind that you need at least 50% of your battery. Even if you guys have 90% of your battery, I still recommend hooking it up to some electricity so you guys don't have any mistakes happen when it just turns off for any reason. Maybe your battery is not the best anymore, so it's always just best to have it hooked up to some electricity when you're doing any backups, even if you're at 100%. And yes, I know some people will disagree with me because you don't like to have your iDevice hooked up to electricity once it's 100%, and you're right. But during an update, you really need to. How long will this entire process take? Well, it does really depend on your iDevice and your internet speed. For most, it will take around 10 minutes to download with a slowish to medium internet speed. And then the installation process should not take more than that too. So you're not looking at more than 20 minutes. Again, I'm looking at this with a slowish internet and maybe an older device. Usually in your devices and with good internet speed, this will be a lot shorter. So just after a few minutes, we should see this. Just install now. Once we press on install now, we will see an Apple logo loading bar. It's just going to restart and then we're going to be finished. So let's just press on install now. So once it verifies, you're going to see an Apple logo and a loading bar, like I mentioned, and that's going to just fill up. It's going to take a little bit and then we're going to see it again. We're going to see another Apple logo and a loading bar. This time it's going to load a lot faster. So we should see that Apple logo and loading too. And then we should see this. It's going to ask you for your passcode to actually get into your phone. But before I do that, it should tell you that your software is up to date and then put in your passcode if you guys have one. Once you do that, you are all done. That's it for this update. In total, like I mentioned before, it shouldn't take you more than 20 minutes. For most of you, it's going to be maybe 10 minutes. And for some of you, it might be five minutes in total downloading plus installation because it's such a small update. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.